our topic today is system email options. And I'm sure you're aware that the system sends out several messages, email messages automatically. Today, we want to go over what those messages are and a few options you have to control both whether they go out and how they go out. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to hop over to pipeline as usual. So before I go over the actual messages that go out, I want to make sure that you're aware of a global setting that you've got to control who these messages, who these system messages come from. So if you head over to your name in the upper right corner and then go to admin settings and then manage users, you'll notice that under any particular user, let's go into Clyde here, you've got the option to specify whether they, you want to make this user the primary administrator for this location. If you check that, that makes that user the primary administrator for that location, which essentially drives that the messages for the people in the lo same location as this person um, come from that person. In other words, let's go look at one person who's actually got one right here. So right now for the Allen location, the primary admin is Daniel Lawrence, okay? So I've set, if I look at Daniel Lawrence's profile here, he's marked as the primary administrator for that location, okay? So all messages that go to users in the Allen location will come from Daniel Lawrence. And that just make, allows, this, allows you to specify the proper routing for messages. When a, a recipient has questions and they reply, it goes to the proper person, okay? So it just kind of streamlines that whole um, workflow, okay? So just letting you know that um, you can drive who these messages are coming from by using that primary admin field. If you don't specify a primary admin for a particular location, the system will use the, uh, the, the admin that you've got set up for the whole company, which is under company profile. Actually, I could have picked company settings over here. Um, I'm sorry, company settings. And then down here under admin and tech support. Whoever you've got in this section, namely their email address, that will be the from for that particular, um, for any location that doesn't have a primary admin specified, okay? Cool. So it'll be from Carol from that email address. If they reply, it'll go to that email address. Alrighty, so just wanna let you know about that setting first, because again, you can, this will impact all the messages that we're talking about going forward. So the first actual message I want to talk about is your closing reminders. When um, a transaction is about to close, five days before it closes, the system will send out a reminder to the agents on the transaction, okay? And this is what that message looks like. So it'll indicate in the message that the transaction's closing. It's got a link to the transaction so they can get there directly. And then it'll list any incomplete tasks actual tasks, incomplete tasks on that transaction that uh, at the time that this message is sent. Okay, so the agent can come to the transaction and make sure that anything is complete or make sure there's nothing outstanding, etc. Okay, so that is the first message that's sent out. Um, the next message I want to go over is the expiring transaction or it's expiring listing message. Okay, and that looks like this. So again, five days before a transaction is about to expire or before the ex expiration date that you've got entered on the transaction, this message will go out. Again, indicates that the transaction is about to expire um, and that a link to the transaction and any incomplete tasks, okay? And obviously it tells the, the date it's going to expire. All right, so useful so that the agent can come and take whatever actions they need to take uh, to knowing that the transaction is about to expire, whether it's extending it, et cetera, all righty? And the way that you control those two messages, let's head over to our admin settings, our company settings page here. Um, and that is this particular option here. If you've got checked to email agents expiring and closing transaction reminders, if this is checked, those two messages I just showed you will be sent when the dates come. Okay. Next message I wanted to show you is the uh, transaction has expired message. And that one looks like this, and that's uh, obviously notifying the agent on the transaction um, that the transaction has expired, okay? 
Um, this message is actually controlled by this setting. If you enable auto expirations of auto expiration of listings, the system will do a few things. Um, the, ex the auto expiration date that you've got entered on the transaction, when it hits that date, it will remove the date, change the status to expired, and send out that expired notification. Okay. So if you've got that turned on, it does all of that automatically to auto expire those listings. So that's what triggers that um, expired message. Okay, so those are the first three uh, messages I wanted to show you. The next one um, actually applies only if you're subscribed to our commissions and reporting module. Um, and that is the monthly production summary to agents. And that one looks like this nice clean report here and and clearly it shows all the stats for both the last month this will be sent at the beginning of each month um the the stats for the month that just ended as well as any year-to-date figures either calendar year to date or fiscal year to date depending on what you've got the agent set up as um, and again it'll include stats including how many transactions closed broken down by whether they're listing or, listing or sales um, and then the gross commission volumes units etc actually units is coming that's not quite on here yet um, and then any taxes, deductions, et cetera. So nice breakdown for the agent. They love getting these for obvious reasons. <laughs> uh, and again, it'll break it down for both the prior month and year to date for them. They get this via email. Um, and then because that's what we're talking about today, I'm letting you know that, but they can also uh, run this manually um, by going to their personal profile and running that. And the way that you control that one is here email monthly production summary to agents. If you want that report to go out to your agents, again, if you're subscribed to our commissions and reporting module, then that will control whether those go out or not. All right. All of those um, thus far that we've talked about, as you've seen, are controlled under our company settings, right? This next one, now we're gonna jump into ones that you control under your personal profile. So let me head over to my personal profile here, name and then personal profile. And here I've got the option to specify whether I want to receive email acknowledgement whenever you send a doc or whenever I send a doc to my mail drop address. So when I send a doc into my mail drop address, it's nice to get confirmation that it was received or maybe there was a problem with it and it was rejected. Um, those messages look like this, right? And it shows that um, one of my documents was rejected because it was identical to a doc I've, doc I've already uploaded. So it's nice to know that detail. If you don't get these um, uh, notifications and it is rejected, you won't know why, right? It'll just get rejected. You might not even realize it's been rejected um, because you weren't, you know, you weren't the one that needed to check and it's just not there. So again, nice communication about what, what happened to a doc once you sent it in. So for some people, this is a lot of messages and they actually turn it off. But again, if you want that detail about why it's rejected um, or whether it was received, you would need to turn that on. Another very common one that I'm sure you're all receiving and hopefully your agents are receiving it as well is receiving the daily task reminder, uh, which is this one here, receive daily email with upcoming tasks. Um, and that will send you a message that looks very much like this one. Again, I, I would say nearly all of our users use this. It's the, um, one of the best ways of uh, managing productivity and, and workflow. So most everyone has this turned on. And again, it'll show you um, the tasks that are due for today, tomorrow, um, and ones that were recently overdue. And you can click through to, to get to the entire list. Okay, so very, very helpful. Um, you want to make sure that you're setting up your visibility property in your system so that uh, only tasks that someone needs to see. In other words, if it's an agent, they're only seeing agent tasks so that this, this um, uh, reminder becomes more relevant, right? It doesn't have a bunch of tasks that don't pertain to them so that they start to tune out because it's not quite as relevant and they end up going to the system, et cetera. So again, yeah, make those as relevant as possible so that this is as useful as possible. But again, you control that here by saying receive daily email with upcoming tasks. Um, now, this is under my personal profile as an admin. As an agent, though, you as admins control whether you want them to see that or not. So an agent wouldn't see this option under their personal profile. You would control that for them under manage users. And then the last automatically sent message is um, the daily activity email that admins have the option to opt into. And that is... This one, receive daily activity email. Um, and that one looks like this. 
It'll give you a snapshot of what has happened. Uh, an assigned uh, status has changed yesterday, an assigned docs awaiting assignment, et cetera. Uh, new transactions added. So it just gives you a glimpse of what has happened um, uh, recently, okay? Um, so again, you can sign up to receive those um, under your personal profile, okay? So those are all the system automatic emails. There is one that's triggered. It comes kind of via the system that I want to mention. And that is when you're on a transaction. It's not automatic you, because you have to do something to actually trigger it each time. But let's say I'm on a transaction here. So if I add a comment to a doc, actually this one's got one here. Um, uh, actually, let me add a new one here. And I'm going to say, right, and I save this. Whenever I, uh, whenever I add a doc comment to a doc, it automatically sends that comment to the agents on the transaction without me doing any additional um, effort to actually send the message. So it's not, it's system generated because it automatically happens when I add a comment. Um, it's just not one that goes out automatically. It needs to be triggered by that comment being added. Okay. And the way you control that one is again under personal, or excuse me, under admin settings. There is an option to email agents when admin comments on documents. So if you don't want that automatic uh, emailing to happen when doc comments are added, then you can turn that off. Okay. And that's it. That's what we've got for um, the system messages and really your options within. Hopefully that will help you uh, either turn off or turn on uh, certain messages that you need to happen. And also again, basically control who they're coming from.